Cecilia from Cecilia Chen Chinese. I'm a teacher from Taiwan. And if you like Taiwanese culture or traditional character, definitely subscribe to my channel. I have new video every Friday, 7 p.m. Taiwan time. Okay, so welcome to my advanced Chinese lesson. In today's lesson, I would like to teach you a sentence structure which can express no matter how extreme the situation is, and the following event will still happen. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into the class. Right, so in the sentence structure, first, um, the zai. After the zai, you will put the extreme situation, okay? And the ye, you will put, after the ye, you will put the situation will still happen. So basically, uh, no matter how the situation is, how extreme the situation is, and this thing will still happen. So, zai blah blah blah, ye, okay. And there's a small tip for you that uh, often my students just put the subject in the wrong place. Basically, um, the subject will put in front of the zai, and subject two will put in front of the ye, okay. So let me just give you an example so it's more clear, okay. So maybe your friend will ask you, hey, so 臭豆腐真的很好吃,你要不要吃吃看? So that means that stinky tofu is really good, would you like to try? And I guess 90% uh, of people will say, mm-mm, 臭豆腐再好吃,我也不要吃. 臭豆腐再好吃,我也不要吃. Okay, so that means that no matter how good or how delicious the steaking tofu is, I will still not eat that. Okay, oh by the way, I think you should really try stinky tofu. Okay, so we can see that 臭豆腐 is the subject one, and 再 followed by the extreme situation, 好吃, and then 我 is subject two, 也不要吃, uh, after the yeah, just put the situation will still happen, okay? Right, so example number two is 中文再难,我也要学 中文再难,我也要学 That means that no matter how hard Chinese is, I will still want to learn it. I hope so, right? Okay, so let's break this sentence down. Mm, so, 中文 is the subject one. 再难, so extreme situation is extremely hard, okay, Chinese is. 我, subject number two, 也要学, I will still learn it. Okay, so clear? Okay, let's try the third sentence. So let's say, no matter how tired I am, I will still go to exercise. So would you like to try? Very good. So that will be 我再累也要去运动 我再累也要去运动 Okay? So now I'm going to play a small clip for you to see um, how people really imply this type of like yeah, sentence into the life. That's about a coffee, okay? So a coffee brand. Let's have a look. Okay. Hey. Yes. Okay, welcome back. So in this advertise, it was saying that 再忙也要跟你喝杯咖啡, right? So no matter how busy I am, I still want to have a coffee with you. I think this is an awesome example. Let's try to make a sentence in the comment section that will help you to correct it, okay? Right, so if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share this video to whoever is learning Chinese as well. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.